on Wyman Lake, just about a mile above the little town of Bingham, Maine, on the famous Kennebec River. We're all loaded now with all of our equipment, ready to take off for the famous Malagash country. We had excellent weather, wonderful flying weather. This country, we're going to fly over millions upon millions of acres of tall timber and hundreds of lakes, good fishing lakes. One reason why the lakes are good, most of them you have to fly to get into. You just don't have roads through this country, you have to fly. We circle around, if we see a camp, we'll sit down because we know we can get a canoe. The fact is, some of these lakes we set into, we didn't even know what the name was. I love this, coming in through a lake like that. It's like an old mallard duck setting in in front of a blind. This guide, I didn't even know his name. He said, Gad, I'll take you up here where we've got some salmon. Now, in these lakes, you've got brook trout, salmon, a little bit of everything. And all I could get was salmon, and they run about 10 to 14 inches. And I didn't keep any of them. They're small fish. But on a lake like this in this country, you could be there just about an hour and a half or two hours before sundown along that shore with a fly rod and a wet fly or even a dry fly. You can have the time of your life, and these trout will run from a pound to three pounds. Well, most people that fish for salmon in this country do a lot of trolling with big streamer flies. I released all the fish, just turned them loose. I was using a small streamer on this. There's a fly rod and a small streamer. But I didn't pick up a brook trout in this lake at all. When we dropped into these lakes, we only spent about an hour in each one, picked up a few fish moved on because I was getting a big kick in ad-libbing these lakes. Some of the finest fishing in the United States is in the state of Maine. And the state does a wonderful job of stocking. any trophy trout. That's one thing we didn't look for. So I says, okay, let's get back and find another lake. Boy, this is beautiful country, believe me. Well, we take off and we're going to fly back, sit down on Wyman Lake, and then take off for the upper part of the river. There's plenty of power in that plane, believe me, and I flew it from the right side for a while. I've got about 40 hours on a float plane, but I've never been checked out on it. And I wish I had now, because it's wonderful, where you can sit down anywhere. And he said to me, he said, Gad, take the wheel, come in on this landing. And I did. Well, that's wonderful. Picked up my canoe, went up to the head of Wyman Lake, above the dam. Now you got landlocked salmon in here, and squirt tail. And that's what I want to try to catch now is landlocked salmon. Now these are some of the salmon flies that I had with me. That's the gray ghost, as they call it, one of my favorite flies. And there are hundreds of patterns in this salmon fly, but I like that gray ghost the best. I worked along this pulpwood for a while. I didn't raise anything, moved on down to about this point here, and about the third cast I made when he got into this point, stripping the line fast, I had a thrill, boy, he sucked it. He hit it hard. Now, if you've never caught a landlocked salmon, you're in for big thrills. 
Now, they are lots of fun, and they've got plenty of pep, and they do a lot of jumping. Boy, if you sitting up there in that seat where I was and doing what I am, your old heart would really be pounding. I'm using a nine-foot tapered leader down to about four pounds on this fish. It's all you need when you got a good rod with a good spring tip action. This fish here would run somewhere around four and a half pounds. I'm only guessing at it, but that's about the size. Boy, it's a nice fish, believe me. That's the gray ghost that I caught him on. Now, a lot of people that has a small motor in a canoe like this and fish a streamer fly like that and troll with the fly rod. No sinker, just troll with the fly rod and the leader and the lure. That's all you need. These salmon, early in the spring, will come to the surface and hit these streamer flies. good over that, and I started out again, and I swear I didn't fish but a few seconds until right into another one. Boy, when you got fishing like that, it's well worth the trip. One nice thing about this upper Kennebec River, it's good, clean water. I understand the Kennebec is the only river left in the United States where they still float pulpwood. And we hope to get rid of that very soon. Because when you trouble with pulpwood, you get a lot of bark on the bottom of the river, which does not help fishing at all. Get that net untangled. Hey, boy, he went right up my net, right up toward my arm. Don't you ever fool yourself, these landlocks have got a lot of pep, believe me. I think they got a lot more pep than a rainbow trout. Well, I finally got him. Boy, there's a, there's a wonderful fish. And you know what I'm going to do with those two fish? I very seldom keep them, but I'm taking these home and I'm going to have myself a good fish fry, because those fish are delicious. That fly went all the way through his lower lip. Had to push it back through. I had him well hooked. That's a whopper. So you get up in that country, folks, and really try it, and I know you'll enjoy it.